better than a good box. Seven o'clock, Milan, Samba Bilas Prayer. It's a big cloudy today. Let's finish my coffee and we start. Much better now, yeah? That was funny. I was really serious why I can have a sign up for coffee. Anyway, today I was calling down for uh, some pics on my, on my camera and uh, I noticed some pics and normally I will delay it. And this will be the topic of today. So I will suggest to not shoot because a picture like this one can be turned in this one using Lightroom. As I told you many times, Lightroom is a very good for, uh, for pro and for beginners. For beginners because it's very intuitive interface, you know, it's very, very easy to use. And a few clicks you can do a lot. And it's good for pro because once you know how to use all the tools, I mean, you can do the real image. Lightroom is not Photoshop. Photoshop is to manipulate the image. Lightroom is just to enshine it. Anyway, we get to deeper into, into that in a, in a bit. But first of all, I want to show you something around here. Here we go, much better, guys, yeah? Guess what's that? That is the well-known cathedral in uh, Milan. The Duomo di Milano is the icon uh, in Milan. And before jumping on the tutorial, I want just, just to tell you some, uh, some uh, curiosity about it. It's not like everybody knows. Just because it's not really something like every day you find yourself in such a beautiful location, such a special location. So I got a note to, <laughs> to not mess up. So what I want to tell you, the first, uh, the first curiosity is uh, that uh, the Duomo is the bigger church in Italy, if we not consider, of course, the St. Peter in uh, Vatican City, and it's, the, it's got the fifth place uh, all around the world. After the St. Peter in uh, Rome, the Basilica Nostra Signora in Brazil, and the Cathedral of uh, San Juan in uh, New York, and the Sevilla Cathedral. Then uh, the second curiosity is that uh, this beautiful cathedral is the biggest Gothic cathedral in uh, in all uh, in all the world. The third thing that is very, very curious, because I never heard something about that, is a big building in 1810 and anticipated uh, what later in the 70s the French was given as a gift to the, to the American, and we're talking about the Liberty Statue. And uh, is uh, one of the most famous replicas in the world, even if a few body knows about that. The notorious is uh, very less. Then we say that is uh, the building with the higher number of uh, statues. We count something like 3,400 statues with 135 gargoyles and uh, 700 uh, other different figures about. Then uh, we have um, on the altar, there is, a, there is a red spot and uh, it's a kind of a metropolitan legend. They say that uh, behind the spot there is the nail which been uh, crucified uh, Jesus. Then we got uh, we got that the the years to construct this beautiful church is uh, been starting officially in uh, 1386, being consecrated in 1418, and uh, for the next 200 years been uh, been continuing all the all the work, you know, to the to the construction. And the full Napoleon to complete the, the phase that you can see today at the beginning of the uh, 19th uh, century. Then uh, le, the meridian of a duom has been uh, used a long time ago to set all the watch of a city is so precisely till today. That is uh, beautiful. And uh, Another thing is interesting is that all the wall over the cathedral are covered with a special um, painting, let's say, which is uh, reacting with the sunlight and is uh, cleaning out uh, itself by, uh, by all the smog and all the uh, pollution. Uh, then you can find in the cathedral the, the more bizarre statue. We have uh, the horror statue, statue 
which is uh, San, Bor San, Bor San Bartolomeo, Scorticato. Then we have uh, the statue of uh, Boxer. Then we have uh, the Madonna delle Rose, is uh, Maria, Maria of uh, Roses, but we know roses. And, uh, and then we have uh, the demons of uh, Duomo, of Cathedral, as you can see. And that was uh, some uh, curiosity about this beautiful location, the Cathedral, the Duomo di Milano. Uh, let's jump into the tutorial now. All right, so if you don't have it, you have to download uh, the Lightroom app. Once you download, that's for free then you're going to open your, your file. So this is the, the picture we were talking about. Remember that it is possible to recover uh, under exposure picture than uh, over exposure. Over exposure is almost impossible to recover. So if you have a picture like that, which actually looks bad and you have no details and nothing, it will be possible to do something. All right, let's see how we're going to do that. So we have uh, first of all we have to go on uh, crop and we need to adjust the um, horizon that is the first thing i do uh, and normally i already set the proportion and the frame but in this case i can see so much so i will waiting for that a little bit what i want to do first is uh, bring up some uh, some details to do so, we need to work, I will work first on uh, shadow, I will bring up some shadow and uh, some uh, blacks, you see, that came out already. About the white will be almost like that and we're gonna shoot more black, like that. All right, now the picture is came up. Um, I believe that we have, now we can back on crop because we have more uh, visibility and normally I'm working with uh, Instagram so I will choose 5-4, alright, and uh, I will cut a little bit of sky to my sky for me so we bring the horizon to the first third and I kind of like this kind of uh, small track here and uh, the bay with the mountain here so let's say that we keep like this yes i believe oh we can try to lower a little bit like that so we keep exactly the the main point the interesting point just around the third part here all right yeah, I believe that, that is fine. Done. Now we start to work on effort. We bring more clarity to it. So if you notice the, the clouds start to appear and we gonna pimp it with DAs. Look at that. All right. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Texture is still fine. Normally, when, I, when you do some operation like that, what, what, what is happening that you're making some, um, you burn a little bit the pixel, but this is not the case right now, at least. So after that, let's try to check it out. The color, we add more vibrance and uh, we play with the temperature. Let's see how this look, how it looks a little bit colder. Oh, hotter, hotter, not really. I believe that uh, in the middle, something like that will be fine. All right, then we back on light. Let's check it out the exposure, just a bit, not too much. Let's see the contrast. We need the contrast, yes. Look, I see the sky is a really dramatic. That's what are we looking for. Let's play a little bit with the highlights. I will say like this and time by time to avoid to exaggerate on the star you back on the screen and you just push on the screen to see before and after 
you see? Before and after. Just to understand where you are at the moment. That is uh, very important. Okay, I believe that uh, till now is fine. What I would like to do more, maybe is uh, more clarity like that. All right, grain, and we add, we move down a little bit the texture because it's a little bit grainy. Perfect. Looking at the picture right now is not bad, but we can do even better. So what you would like to do, you see this kind of a small, uh, how you call it? It's a kind of a street a pathway. I would like to mark a little bit. So we go on the brush. We can set, yes, like that. We just do like this and then we go on light. We increase a little bit the exposure, the highlights, the white, and we do uh, even smaller. We need a smaller one. Yes, like this. Like this and like this. Yes, look at that, yeah. too much, I believe it's fine, all right, like that, perfect. Now we do done, we click on the same tools, but this time we get the horizontal one and we work on the sky guys here we go moving down a bit so what should we do the red part is a mark in the area that will be affected by our changes so exposure contract is fine highlights we can bring down a little bit shadow move down yes and uh, like that will be all right blacks mm, blacks not really all right color we just go on saturation a little bit let's play one second with the temperature just to see how it looks i believe it's fine like that effort we just check it out on these, yes, like that, I like that, really dramatic picture. Remember, from where we come from, I mean, we come from, from this. No details, very flat picture, that is something to trash, just right away. And now look at that. I mean, it's not really the best picture in the world, but at least it's not to trash, you know? And if you like, we want to add um, some artistic touch. You can go on the brush, make it very small. Doing just one point somewhere like this, just to mark it. And then you go in exposure high, highlights and white. And then you just do some light rain like that like that. I don't know why I'm talking like that right now and uh, Yes, we can see that it's too much, but don't worry about it because I do that just because it's visible, not because we cannot help out. Yes, yes, like that. What should we do now? We just move it back on light like that and on exposure. So it will be just easy effect. You know, just a little touch. Yes, and actually, I would like to, to do here too. Just in the middle, just in the middle, a little bit here. And uh, I believe that's it, guys, yeah. 
You see this one, we can go on the rubber here and delay this one. Yes, much better. And this one too. You see, you can always set it up. I believe that is fine, yes. Yes. The back, so before, after. Come on, guys, it's not too bad. That was one example for, uh, for today. Remember, I was getting just a really extreme uh, picture like that. I mean, it's a really, really something that you'll never consider to, to publish. Just to show you the potential of uh, this software and to show you how much easy and intuitive is the platform to work with. I mean, you don't need to be a pro to do that. You can be just a simple beginner. And uh, I was recording today with the, with the iPad just because I'm comfier with that. But all the tools that I've been using here, lights, color, hair, details, optics, uh, geometry, is exactly the same tool that you got in your, on uh, your mobile. Can be iOS, can be Android, just the same. So that I did just that because it's uh, easier for me right now to, to, work, uh, to work on it. So this tutorial probably was uh, a little bit slow, but uh, I believe the best way, mostly for, uh, for beginners, to understand and to get a time to go through all, uh, all the tools we're talking about. Uh, remember that you got a time to, to try and uh, to, do, to, to do your experiment on your picture. Try with no fear because it's a di digital image, so there is no problem at all. And um, also, if you have uh, any doubt, any question, doesn't cost anything to write down, down below on the, on the comments, a message, ask me what, uh, what you need to know and uh, even if you have another topics another question maybe can be you know a new subject for the for the next video and uh, we will help other people in the same uh, that have uh, your same problem you know uh, so remember to to like that will be a big support for me doesn't cost to you anything and uh, will help me a lot and uh, subscribe if you like to see more video like that and ask me some more question or any anything you would like to know about uh, editing apps software or photography happy to happy to help be cool